Hey there, this is Seth, and I wanted to show a little follow-up video to an earlier recording I did showing you how to pull a direct mail list from Agent Pro 24-7. Now, Agent Pro 24-7 is a great service in that it's very inexpensive to get access to a lot of data very conveniently. That's really what makes it such a great service. However, the other side of the story is that sometimes the data just isn't all that current or accurate and it's usually a function of the county that you're pulling it from because really a lot of counties out there just are, have very you know old decrepit systems that are not very good at keeping this stuff up to date or making it easy for the data company to pull but nevertheless i mean whatever the problem is that ultimately affects us because if we don't have access to good solid reliable accurate data that's a big problem because we don't want to be sending out thousands of you know postcards or letters to people where their address information is years old you know or even months old for that matter this information really has to be very very current like within the past you know two to four weeks at the very most in my opinion just because i mean the information throughout the entire county is changing every single day and you can't afford to be working with stale information and just sending out stuff based on inaccurate data so with that being said if you're choosing to use agent pro there's something you need to know about and it's this tool that they have where you can go up here to this green button where it says tools click on that and then scroll down where it says geographic coverage and then it's going to bring up this screen and from here you can go and you can click on whichever state it is you're trying to work in. So just for example, let's go click on California. And right here is going to list every single county in the state that they have data on. And it's going to show you when the last date was that that information was generated from that county. And, you know, as you'll see, most of the time it will be fairly recent. As I'm recording this video, it is January 9, 2016. And, you know, you scroll down through this list, you see most of it was done within the past month, if not, you know, sooner. So pretty decent, reliable data. Looks like there's a couple that were done at the end of November. So we're talking maybe a month or so old at the oldest. So, you know, there's that. Um, you know, I'll show you just some other examples, though. If we go up here to, I don't know, North Dakota, a very rural area you'll see some of these counties they've got nothing like they have never pulled data ever because there's no date listed here and some of them like if we look here at this county renville county this was last pulled july 31 2012 and granted that is the exception everything else here looks like this one here is pulled in july 2015 so that's about six months old but by and large you'll see almost all of these counties are still within the past you know month or so but there are a few that are really, really old. And if you didn't check this and, you know, if you weren't aware of that before you pulled the list, you'd be kind of kicking yourself. So, you know, all this to say, if you're ever using Agent Pro for any reason, whether that's to do property research or pull lists, I guess, especially for the purpose of pulling lists, because that's when, you know, real money starts getting involved as you're doing a direct mail campaign. Make sure that you come to this page and click on the state, find the county and make sure you understand you know, what information is available and how recent that information was updated. Just want to make sure you were aware of that. Be sure to check this out uh, if you use an Agent Pro. And yeah, I think it'll be helpful for you. So that's all. Hope you found that helpful. And I wish you all the best with your next direct mail campaign.